Hey Cancerians, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're gonna be taking a look at your first half of December general reading here. So in your meditation, really interesting, I was in, it felt like a theater like a la Phantom of the Opera, and then I saw there was like a symphony, and then I heard the opening to, it's a song by, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's a song by One Republic, and it's like, um, gonna give all my secrets away, gonna give all my secrets, and it's it got that like, at the beginning of it, and then with that, I saw the phantom, like from the, that's, a, that's definitely a first, I uh, saw the phantom from the Phantom of the Opera come forward with like that half mask, you know, and I saw him come forward representing the Cancerian Collective, and I saw him standing in this theater and trying to take the mask off, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't come off. And then I saw him kind of rip, like rip the atmosphere apart and step through to another scene. And suddenly he was on this beach that was next to a forest and it was sunny and the birds were chirping. And it was like the tide was just like really chill. And I saw him try to take some of the salt water and, and try to like lubricate the mask and get it off that way. It still wouldn't come off. So he gives up and then he kind of lays down and takes a nap on the sand. And he finds when he wakes up that the mask has detached itself while he was sleeping. And then he puts his hands to his face and finds that what was there before, like, you know, the, the, the burning and all of the, you know, what is that word that I'm looking for? The, um, how it was like, the, what is the word that I'm looking for? Deformed? Something like that. I can't think of the word for some reason. Um, but that it was all healed. That, it, that his face was whole again, that it was like, it was, was perfect underneath, disfigured. God, got there in the end. So he felt that he, like he, the face was disfigured, which is why the mask was on, but then it was just like completely healed. And that was the meditation. So it's, it's really interesting, and especially with that One Republic song of give all my secrets away there, and that mask with hiding and, and, you know, withholding. I feel like... And I got to tell you, you're the last ones for this round of readings. And there has been a message for the collective that has been coming through again and again, which is we're really looking at the end of this year and beginning a brand new cycle in 2023. It feels larger than just like, oh, it's the end of one year and the beginning of the next. Well, how do you do? It's a new year. It's not, it's, it feels more significant like that than that. Like we're closing out a seven year cycle and beginning a new one. Like that's what it feels like. So it feels a bit bigger. I feel like if in this, it's really weird because I feel like you guys, for some reason, cancer readings and Virgo readings always like are holding hands in some way for me. But so this came up a bit in the Virgo reading. But it feels like, you know, with this newness, it feels like you're moving into a reality with this new cycle where things are going to look a lot different than they did before. Like your reality is gonna change in some physical way. You know, it was like whatever that mask, you know, represents for you with that phantom of the opera, it's like there's a removal of it, not by your own means, but when the divine timing came and it was right, and then to find that like, you know, what was there before is, is now healed and grown over. You know, sometimes we hear that like the things that served us in the past are not serving us now right? Whether that's our communication style or our habits or, you know, our, our thoughts, the way that we think. Sometimes we learn things from a place of survival, like hiding to survive, needing to blend in to survive, needing to assimilate uh, for safety or whatever that is. And it feels like a lot of what has been in your past that has kept you um, at odds or in a place of separation and whatever way, shape or form this is, is shifting now. It just feels like there's a, a big change coming for you and it feels it feels really good it feels really really good you know I'm seeing the character of Christine like from the Phantom of the Opera and how she was able to you know see see beyond appearances like with that character there, there's something about this that's coming through where it's like you know appearances versus what's really underneath 
Your ruling planet as a Cancer is the moon, which is very changeable, deals with the unseen and psychic phenomenon. So I feel like there's something about a reveal coming um, in some way, shape or form. And I feel like it, it is related to something that affects your own personal sense of confidence, but your also personal sense of worth and purpose and what you're capable of. For example, if you're coming from a background where you needed to assimilate to survive, Right, for just as a random example, if you were, you know, a gay man, you know, living in a place where that was not acceptable. And so as a gay kid growing up, you learned how to, you know, pass and, and assimilate and for safety, then you get to your adulthood and you're like, Why don't I allow people to see the real me? Why why can't I just be myself? Well, because you learned really well, like these, you know, how to how to feel safe in an environment that, you know, was not accepting of you, it wasn't safe for you to be yourself. Can you recognize that and realize how you don't need to take that into your adult and how to release it? So whatever that equivalent may be for you, it feels like that's what's coming up for this month, which is really, really interesting, but also going into the new year. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see what your cards say. Hey Cancerians, let's go ahead and see what your animal energy is for the first half of December. Oh, ho, 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 ho. could not be better. Were we talking about like a big reveal and then we have like the oyster, which like hides the pearl? Are you serious? Music of the night indeed. <laughs> Remember, I'm going to give all my secrets away, the One Republic song, and it's like, what's that hiding in there? Could it be? a pearl. It's interesting. Very interesting. This is coming up for you. So the oyster is basically the four of pentacles in the tarot, which speaks of not moving forward, but not moving backwards either. It's, it's kind of like, you know, staying ready. So you don't have to get ready. It's, it's assured material gain. It's feeling very grounded, but maybe lacking any kind of incentive or ability to move forward in any real way. I feel like the key, if you think about oysters, we were at the ocean, in your meditation and the pearl and the mask was white, right? So I feel like this is coming through for you to say that in order for you to graduate into a new reality for yourself in the best kind of way, you're being asked to reveal the best parts of yourself because that's oyster medicine. It's going to be the thing about you that maybe you felt like you couldn't truly embrace before in whatever way, shape or form that was, that is going to be the key to your own happiness, abundance, happy new circumstances, a shift, right? Interesting, and that's usually how it is, right? Okay, let's see what's going on. But this is about sharing your gifts with others. That's oyster medicine. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Ace of Pentacles, really? You know, beetle energy is about, you know, being aware of what your resources are and then understanding that everything has natural cycles. So it's, it's things that are reborn again, right? It's fascinating. Ace of Pentacles is about a brand new home, a marriage proposal, uh, a, you know, brand new job that just like suddenly gives you a level of material comfort that you didn't have before, maybe even, you know, overnight. This is just really good luck and good fortune that just comes your way that's a bit unexpected. It's less of a pinnacle you reach and more of a happy surprise that you manifest in my experience with Ace of Pentacles. So I rather like this, but this Aces mean brand new starts, new beginnings, and new cycles. So the fact that we're getting this starting off for you, <laughs> Couldn't be better, and it's brilliant because the Ace of Pent. Remember, it's Earth energy. Remember, I told you, but like the Virgo and the and the Cancer, and then we're getting Earth energy here as well. And by the way, with this Water Oyster energy here, I forgot to say, like whenever you get an animal that is of your like element, that is always very auspicious. So the fact that you're a Water sign getting water, really good news. <laughs> and then you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Wow, it's really really nice, Cancer. Really really. Really, really nice. <laughs> okay. Page of Pentacles. More Pentacles here. I'm here for it. You know, this makes a lot of sense. You know, the page is about a newbie energy. It's the beginning of something new, right? But it's also sort of putting yourself to task in terms of I have an idea right? And then I take the proper steps to see it through from a place of consideration, patience, discernment, 
practice, dedication, right? Just, just like this person forging whatever that is. So, so it's really beautiful, right? This is about time and commitment and effort. And then you nurture this into something bigger. It's like, it's, it's absolutely stunning here. I, I do feel like there's something calling you forward that is just different than where you've been or it's going to require something new of you in some sort of way. But it, it's again, the key here is newness, right? Newness. Interesting with the fire as well, with the Phantom of the Opera, with the burned face and everything, right? Interesting. Very interesting, all the smoke and everything. I feel like you may be considering a new line of work. I feel like for some of you, whether this is a hobby that turns into something you can monetize or it's just, it's it's a new line of work that just comes as somewhat of a surprise or something that you had given up on. I feel like it's in the energy somehow, or maybe it's a side hustle. It's coming through for you that just brings you back to life in a way. It gets you excited like a kid again, right? But, the, but it comes, again, the oyster has an inherent sense of surprise in it as well, as does the Ace of Pentacles. It's something that could surprise you or just go, wow, I never would have thought. But it feels really, really good. And it is connected to that pearl in the oyster of something that it's a unique ability or aspect that is very specific to you. And the way to align to this is to really take that pearl out and allow yourself to be seen and really see the ways in which you know, you can more fully step into your own light because that's how other people find you that are of your like tribe, right? When you shine your light, when you're living from your authentic truth and authentic self with no mask on, that's how other people that are within your soul group that are here to bring you opportunities that are just right for you, find you, right? What's going on? Ooh, whoa, hello. The Empress, well, hello. I do love ending on a major arcana. You know, this couldn't be better. The Empress is, is very Cancer energy to me because she is the mother of the Tarot. And you guys are connected to that mother energy of, of nurture, right? So it's fascinating with the Empress. She's all about creativity. She's all about in positive expectations. You know, she's traditionally shown as pregnant and she's going to give birth to something that, you know, she doesn't exactly know you know, exactly what it will look like or what shape it will take or the gender or whatever it is, but she's happy. She's enjoying the gestation process, right? It's that pregnant pause aspect of her that just goes, I give life, I give birth to new conditions all the time. And that's why she's the creative, you know, essence that she is. So really interesting that this comes up. You are creating something new that is in alignment with your highest and best path. Look at the, the, the triple moon there in the background and you as cancers are ruled by the moon. We talked about that. It's brilliant. Really, really brilliant. Look at this. <laughs> a brand new opportunity. It comes at somewhat of a surprise or a brand new start or a big boon. A gift from the universe. Could be, again, a house, a job, something that is like significant, right? And then you have page of pentacles, which is woo, starting something new, something that really excites you, really nurturing something and bringing it to life. And then really taking this page of pentacles, right, in its infancy, and then really sitting with the gestation process and birthing that into your experience as something new. And that pearl inside feels like it's directly tied to what's in the empress's belly, right? It's really beautiful, really, really beautiful, Cancers. Beautiful. Let's get some advice, shall we? Let's get, oh, hey, yo. <laughs> Your advice, so good, four of wands. This is happy home, happy family, rejoicing, having a lot of cause to celebrate. Now this is a bower bird, which is fascinating. So he is, if he's not the only, then he's one of the few uh, birds that actually in the mating ritual, he will build the nest uh, and then go seek a mate. So he uses the nest in order to attract his mate. He's like, hey girl, like come see this nest that I built. Like it's kind of like Noah in the notebook where he already met the girl, but he like builds the house. <laughs> and then she sees him in the newspaper standing in front of the house. And so they're, they're brought back together. It's kind of like the same thing, like Bowerbird Noah. And see that little like engage, see the wedding rings at the bottom there? 
It's funny because we were talking about engagements and new cycles and big boons, new homes, stuff like that. And then we have the home being represented here in the engagement rings. It's marriage, it's celebration, it's really good luck with the four leaf clovers there. Your advice is just to celebrate where you are and be excited about what's to come. And I would say there's an emphasis on the home. Uh, on the home. You know, you as cancers are directly tied to matters of the home and hearth. I feel like this is saying like, really tend to matters of your home, really consider, you know, how can you improve upon it? Is it your safe space? How does it make you feel? Are you moving somewhere else? What do you want your new home to be like? There's something about the matters of the home and seeing if those affairs are in order right? There's something to do with that for you. But ultimately, this is about celebrating where you are and where you've yet to go without needing to know exactly what form that will take. Happy expectation. No ultrasounds here. All surprises. <laughs> really beautiful. Um, yeah, let's get this oracle. Let's get an oracle. Oracle for my cancers. Does that want to come in? Yes, it does. Ooh. Beautiful. Who else got this? I think Aries got this. Okay. I think Aries got that. Oops. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> First of all, let's talk. We got the desert prince here, which says survival, false promises. What did we talk about? Things that taught you how to survive and stay safe and assimilate and be accepted and how they may not be serving you anymore to become aware of them so that you can release them. And is that not a moon? Survival, false promises, the desert prince. <sighs> There's really something about this that feels, and it's the ocean and sand, it's beautiful. There's really something connected to this, also with the pyramids of the past. It really feels like it's asking you to really consider if you're, if you're wanting to manifest a new reality, are you taking in an old operating system to that new reality? Really be honest with yourself. What's no, what's no longer serving you, okay? Whatever it is that t links you to that oyster. Lady of Lightning, surprises. We talked about surprises. Sometimes shock, okay. Total paradigm shift. Number 35, five plus three is eight. Eight is the number of financial abundance. Tying it back to the Ace of Pentacles. So this speaks of uh, big changes coming your way and life doesn't look the same after it. It's it's usually overtly positive. It's like, you know, surprises, sometimes shock. Some, this is like, pfft, a big gift from the universe coming your way where it's like, whoa, life is very different. It's pregnancy, it's marriage proposal, it's, you know, a, a inheritance, it's um, a new idea that just like changes your life forever. It's that kind of energy. So this is a big shift happening. And I like that it's coming through for you in this way. And I do feel like it's related to this aspect of yourself that you're being called to stand in the full light of and allow yourself to be seen. And it's going to align you to some really great things uh, that are very much worth celebrating. And I love that for you. <laughs> this is really beautiful, Cancers. I'm, I'm really excited to see it. I think ultimately, you know, going through this time here as we're moving into 2023, it's a natural time where we're really thinking about the next year. We're reflecting on the old one. So you're in a perfect position. <laughs> in order to do this, you know, that kind of thinking and, and, and really consider yourself and really think about, you know, the phantom of the opera and the aspects of yourself that stay hidden behind a mask. What is your mask? Let me let you in on something. We all have one. We all have one. Some of them are a little bit harder to spot, but we all have them in some way, shape or form. It's so true that the best parts of ourselves, you know, feel the most vulnerable and that's why we keep them hidden right? So just something to think about moving forward and how to align to your highest and best reality with people that truly get you and are aligned with you and are part of your soul group is to allow yourself to be seen in that way. It can be very difficult to do, but also incredibly rewarding. And you're here to be seen, right? In this life, you're here to be seen as your unique, perfect self, right? Not as an assimilator, really beautiful. So with that being said, Cancer, I, I so hope that this helps and resonates. If so, please let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love reading your comments. And with that being said, I do have just a few slots at the time of recording this, a few slots left open for my 2023 overview year ahead personal readings. I offered them last year. They sold out pretty quickly and they're doing so again. Once they're sold out, that's, that's kind of it. So if you would like to sign up and get a spot, the link is in the description box below. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Thank you for being here. And most of all, and as always, thank you for being you. 
and be well. Until next time.